How to make anything.com. All right, today on how to make anything.com, I'm going to show you a little programming tip. Now, on the web, one of the most popular web languages to use is called PHP. And there are many different styles of creating an array to hold a list of, of objects or of strings that you want to use in your web application. But I'm going to share with you today my style of doing that and tell you some of the benefits, especially when coupled with a good programmer's text editor. So here we have a little snippet of code setting up a super cool array. Now many people will just define their array right here in line, or you'll see it spread out on a few lines. The way I like to do it is I like to spread it out on a few lines like this and I like to tab this in so that you can see quickly where this variable starts and ends. And a lot of people will also move these around. They'll, you'll see this format a lot where the comma is after the item or you'll even see it before the item. Now one common thing in PHP that a lot of people don't know about and they'll go their whole PHP lives without knowing is that you can put a comma after every item, including the very last item. So this means if you have a nice list of common keyboard words here. Now in my programming editor, what I can do is my programming editor will allow me to hit Control D and duplicate this line. And this is especially useful if I'm building a really long array of of words and I want to get, want to get another line but I don't really want to type you know this out and hit enter I can come to my very last line and use control D and I have a new line copied with that line so then I can just double click that change that to something else do it again change that to saying this keyboard combination do it again, I can change it to you know, whatever you like, but it's, as you can see it kind of makes your efficiency go up. You can do this a lot quicker. So that has been PHP Arrays on HowToMakeAnything.com where I just gave you a tip on uh, styling your arrays to make it easier for you and your programming editor. If you want to use an editor similar to mine, it's I use a free one. It's called Site, and that's spelled S-C-I-T-E. Just Google that, you'll find it pretty quick. It's a pretty good little editor, flexible for a lot of languages, very lightweight and cross-platform. And uh, use that one here as you see the keyboard combination for Control-D. Thanks for watching.